fucking fucking shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Spoiler, 
Actually, in this case, I don't mind spoiling, as it might save you more time to spend with loved ones than watching this crud. They introduced some dominatrix male in a suit who controls everything for whatever dumb reason. I believe this was to lead into a part 5 that, thank God, never happened, much like the open-ended plot holes that happened in both at the end of Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers and Aliens vs. Predators. One of the biggest gripes that people had with this film, which is saying a lot, because there is nothing but stuff to gripe about, is that Leatherface seems to have become a transvestite. You can almost watch the transformation in the film, which seems to me to be sort of the result of trying to make Leatherface too complex. There is a point in the film where the trapped Jenny, Zellweger, tries to get Leatherface to help her escape, talking to him exactly like a psychiatrist would talk to a disturbed child. Why the focus on Leatherface being a transvestite? Leatherface is a side character anyway, it is Vilmer, McConaughey, who is the star, which is said because he plays such a belligerent, disgusting character. If you don't believe me that he's more the star than Leatherface, count how many people Leatherface, or anyone else, kills with a chainsaw in the movie, hint, none. Vilmer is the new head of household in the Backwoods family working as a tow truck driver reckless murderer and who has the fascinating addition of an electric leg that is operated by remote control. At one point, a high school kid pleads for help, then when he realizes Vilmer's one of the bad guys, he runs away from the truck, running straight down the street rather than into the woods to relative safety, of course. Vilmer gleefully chases him down, laughing and hooting and hollering all the while, and then runs him over five or six times before stashing his body on the back of the truck to later taunt one of his little friends with. Yeah, Vilmer is by far one of the most annoying characters in horror ever. He's pretty much if Gord from Freddy Got Fingered or one of those unlikable Adam Sandler protagonists in his bad movies joined Leatherface's family. Now you guys are wondering, are there any good qualities of TCM the next generation? Let me tell you this short statement, N.O. I liked nothing about this movie whatsoever, it was just an embarrassing shitfest in every single way possible, and now that I think about it, I don't ever want to continue talking about this film, so next generation, easily my most hated slasher film ever and all Blu-rays or DVD copies of this movie can be thrown in the garbage and be burned in the incinerator at the dump where they belong. Anyway, I am done ranting on this piece of shit and I pray to God I will never see this movie again. And here is my obvious ranking. I am going to give TCM, the next generation, a 0 out of 10. And there we go. We finally burned that pile of crap apart for good. Now we only have two more films to go since I already reviewed the remix of You Feel Like Checking Those Reviews Out. And until then, that will be it for this rant. Thank you all for watching, and if you like this and wanna see more, then don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.